If you've ever created renderings for industrial exterior projects, especially factories and industrial zones, you've probably noticed something. The roads, though not the main feature, often take up 20% or more of the total site area. And this is exactly where many people tend to overlook. You might carefully model every detail of the factory, place trees beautifully, arrange containers and vehicles in perfect composition, but if you neglect the road surface, the entire rendering will still feel emotionally flat. Like a great piece of music missing its background track, it ends up feeling dry, empty, and rigid. Take a look at your past renderings. If the road surface looks too dry, too clean, and lacks any reflection, the whole scene feels plain and lacks depth. But what if you make the road look wet, with a subtle sheen reflecting the sky, lighting, and surrounding architecture? Suddenly, the render comes to life, capturing the essence of modern industrial design. Soft, yet powerful. And that's exactly what separates a good rendering from a truly impressive one. All right, let's move on to the material setup. And once you've finished setting up the wet road material, you'll instantly notice a dramatic difference in your scene. The entire space becomes softer, smoother, no longer stiff or flat like before. Especially when the light hits the surface, it creates natural reflections and subtle light streaks, making the scene feel like it's breathing, truly alive. A wet road doesn't just boost realism, it also adds a sense of depth, something many exterior renders often lack. This makes your project more engaging, more professional. Exactly what a high quality, emotionally resonant architectural visualization should feel like. I've always believed that architecture isn't just about building structures. It's about telling a story through light, materials, and space. And sometimes it's the smallest details, like a wet road surface, that create the biggest difference in the eyes of clients or investors.